welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name is Simone today I've got my weekly shop from Marks and Spencers I have gone a bit over budget and I've spent £113 but this is for a family of five and it's breakfast lunches dinners for a week or even eight days so I'm going to show you at the end of this video hopefully um, photos of all the meals that we're having if you do like me adding the meals at the end or if you want me to add prices in future please will you leave me a comment down below and let me know so I'm going to start off over on this side so as you know the family eats meat but I'm plant based so I got them this rotisserie chicken and um, this was six pounds they had it last week and I showed it in what we what um, they had for dinner so I'll leave that video up above if you want to check it out so that was six pounds and then they really enjoyed the sockeye salmon um, so I'll be making that again um, for them all actually Ryan made it last week so he'll be making that and then I got these posh dogs for me um, because I'm going to be making a Sunday dinner so I'm going to have these sausages while they're having this chicken and then the leftovers will be for wraps the day after then I've talked about these meal deals before you can get a big massive vegan pizza like this but I'm not really into pizzas um, so I've got these these two for the family the kids just like the cheese and tomato and then this one I've been looking for it for ages for Ian because he loves garlic mushrooms so this is garlic mushroom and spinach and then you can choose from different sides you can get cheesecake or I got these mozzarella sticks and then I got these onion rings as well they're really nice so I'll be able to have some of these and then I got um, these two turkey breast fillets so Ryan will be cooking these up for him and the kids and I got some lean turkey mince and he will be making a spaghetti bolognese with this usually by beef mince but I decided to buy turkey this week um, the kids and Ryan really love eggs and we've not really been buying a lot recently but he wants to start incorporating more eggs so I think I've got six packs of these and these are 90p you can buy 12 for no is it 12 I can't remember now or 15 for two pound but they sold out I got these traditional British oats because the kids like having porridge every day basmati rice for lentil dal and for curries and Ryan just likes cooking up rice um, to serve with different dishes we got this um, vegan sliced cheese I didn't buy burgers this week though we usually put that on um, burgers but it is nice melted like in a I think um, like in a wrap or sometimes Ryan likes to put it in like an omelette then I'm going to be trying vegan Yorkshire puddings this week if they've come out well I'm going to show you a picture right now if not I'll be doing without and they'll be having these these are six Yorkshire puddings made with beef drippings I can make normal Yorkshire puddings and I can make them really fluffy like this but um, I thought I would just buy these as a backup just in case my vegan ones don't come out for me but the family can have these ones and then I bought these shiitake mushrooms I really like them I feel like they've got a really like nice meaty texture so I'm going to be making um, like a mushroom creamy dish with that I got um, firm tofu because I love having um, like tofu for breakfast or lunch I've got two avocados on the right. I've got my decaf Yorkshire tea. I absolutely love this tea. Um, do any of you like this brand or do you like Tetley or is there a different brand that you've got? And then I got, I know it sounds extreme, like how many I've got here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these oat milks. They didn't have um, enough oat milk so I've got these two soya because we have porridge and I like to make oat milk lattes I still need to try and make my own dairy free like milk but it always comes out really crap I got these for the kids just to snack now they really love grapes I was trying to find these I think they're called cotton candy grapes Amy Helena I'm gonna link her channel above she's vegan and she does slimming world and she said she got some of these candy cotton I think that's what the name of them are these grapes and she said they're really sweet and nice so I was trying to find them but I couldn't find them but she does really good like fake away 
like Chinese takeaway meal and um, like an Indian one. She shows what she eats throughout the day and she's got hauls, like charity shop hauls as well and she's just a really lovely, supportive, genuine, just nice person. So I would love it if you would go and check out her channel. So I've got these three, um, I, there were four last week, I'm sure of it. Um, lime, lemon and lemons and limes, so two l lemons and a lime for 65p. And then I got these round tomatoes. I think they were 85. And then I got this velvet hummus. It's so nice. It's a lot more smoother than the other one um, that I usually buy. Then I got this organic strawberry jam um, for the kids for toast for like a snack. I got a cucumber. These chestnut mushrooms will go in with that mushroom dish. I got four tins of tomatoes for the spaghetti bolognese and for the lentil dal and for breakfast. Then I got these straight cut oven chips. I've still got some King Edward potatoes left from last week. So I just bought these to put in the freezer. And then I got these. These I've had these ages ago in England, but I've not seen them in the Marks and Spencers on the Isle of Man. And the potato rosties, shredded potato and onions, lightly seasoned and fried, cook in the oven for 20 minutes. They're really thick and they're really nice. So I'll be having them for lunch for breakfast then I got a big bag of carrots and then they didn't have the big bag of peppers this week so I just bought the three and then here are the other eggs like I said the 90 piece like a dollar for six eggs sorry but Mike is shouting in the background then I've got these natural cheese tortillas and chili tortillas for the weekend for the tapas for Ryan and the kids I like to buy loose bananas but they didn't have any today so I've got these I think there's about 10 in there and then I got a broccoli, two um, easy peelers because the kids just love snacking on them. I got the Ciabatini grains and seed bread. They're £1.80 each, like $2. I've talked about these, these breads before. I really love them. Then I got this brioche loaf for the kids to make French toast. Um, I realised that I've run out of maple syrup, but I'm going to make like a berry compote for them, I think. Um, yeah, so when I had this like last year, it tasted absolutely amazing. So I think the kids are going to love that for a surprise breakfast. I got this made without chocolate, dark chocolate. If I'm craving something sweet because I'm like on this weight loss program, I just have like a couple of pieces of that and that's like enough for me. I got these vegetable cubes. They don't really have much stock, like not cheap ones in Marks and Spencers. I'm gonna have to go elsewhere um, for these, maybe to the, do you know the vegan shop that I showed you in my video last week? I'll link that above. So, but I need these for like, well I need a stock for lentils just to give it some extra flavor. Then I got three packs of these whole wheat, whole meal tortilla wraps for a pound or $1.20. I, yeah, I got three packs of them because the kids love having wraps like most, for most days for the lunch. And then I got this soft wholemeal loaf. I put that in the freezer and then when we just want toast, we can just go in and get it out. Oh yeah, I got this um, almond one as well. This is from another shop. They were on an offer for only one pound. They're one pound 80 in the other shop that I went to. And then I got these for the campfire again. They had these on the, on the, Ryan made like a fire and they had sticks and he was having these last week and they melted the cherries, Terry, cherry, sorry, Terry's chocolate orange on it. They really, really loved it. Um, yeah, and Micah really enjoyed it as well. So I thought I'd buy them another pack to do that with the dad. And then I just got these toilet rolls. Oh my gosh, um, I was speaking to Jay and she was saying that in England, apparently people are panic buying because they're worried that there's going to be a second wave. Are you experiencing that anywhere you are? And I got this antibacterial kitchen cleaner and I got a shower cleaner as well, which was only 80p, but I don't know where I've put it. But I do really like the brand, um, the Marks and Spencer's own. So yeah, I'm really chuffed to bits with that. So yeah, so this is everything. So like I said, at the end of this video, there is either gonna be photos or videos of all of the meals that we're having and lunches and everything. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please leave them down below. I hope you like Okay, so I'm gonna do a voiceover and take you through the breakfast, um, lunch and dinners that we've been having and desserts. So on the left, we've got banana with um, porridge oats, 
oat milk and some coconut sugar different days we'll put different fruits in we have a lot of frozen fruit in the freezer then in the middle caleb's got brioche um french toast with a berry compote that i made with frozen berries i've got a video above if you want to check out how i do that and some bananas and some um what's it called now icing sugar that's it um so these are the breakfasts and then for lunches to give you some ideas of what we've been having neighbors there with a bagel this is um baked locally and we had them in the freezer so she's got that with veggie sausages and homemade baked beans with spinach and tomatoes and then there's some vegan cheese as well the one in the middle is ryan now decided that she wanted everything on a bagel then on the end we've got some nachos tomatoes grapes and cucumber and some hummus that's more like a snack really then I've got scrambled tofu here, homemade baked beans, the Ciabatini bread and some potato waffles and um, because the kids and Ryan was having eggs they've had pretty much the same as me but they're having eggs and they're having avocados. I don't like avocados, I really like to start liking them but I'm just not that keen on them and then they've got the, um, the potato rosties there as well and then sometimes I don't always have like a potato product at dinner time, I might just have the Ciabatini um, bread with um, scrambled tofu and peppers and tomatoes or different types of veggies and then for dinners I've got seven dinners here and on the first day um, Ryan and the kids had these pizzas in the meal deal that I showed you at the beginning with the onion rings and the mozzarella sticks I had a day out to myself and went to a cafe so I'll show you what I had later on so yeah the family really really enjoyed this and we made a salad as well the next day we had um, there's turkey on the left, turkey steaks, Ryan spiced them up and he made like a mushroom, spicy mushrooms and rice and put some chips or fries on there and then a salad and then on the right was a vegan hunter's chicken which I had in the freezer, it wasn't that nice actually, it was from Tesco's then that is a veggie, um, a vegan chilli with rice, basmati rice and green beans that was really delicious um, on this one there's the rotisserie chicken and with rice and veggies I had the rice, veggies and um, the sauce um, dished up but the family they had um, the chicken there sorry it's really late now I'm doing this so this is the um, Sunday dinner this is Ryan so this is the rotisserie chicken the other half of it and we've got loads of different veggies and then there's the Yorkshire puddings that I bought the beef dripping ones my Yorkshire puddings didn't come out very well I need to get a deeper like muffin tray I would say you can see that my Yorkshire puddings are quite flat but Caleb said that my Yorkshire puddings was better than the other ones which I was surprised about so I am going to have another go at it and if I can like perfect it then I'll make a video on it I've got Richmond sausages up there and I've got gravy green beans carrots cabbage um, King Edward roast potatoes um, yeah it was so so nice I really love um, having Sunday dinners and then next is um, when I went to the cafe and I got um, sweet no it wasn't salt and pepper fried tofu fried rice like a sweet chili dip and i had a soy latte it was so nice and relaxing and then here we've got lentil pasta mixed with wheat pasta on the left is my vegan bolognese which was in my last haul and then on the right is the turkey bolognese and then after that i'm just trying to see what's going to pop up oh this is when i tried to make um the Yorkshire puddings again so I tried to make toad in the hole and it didn't come out quite well and then after that I made uh, apple crumbles the kids are out in the garden we picked up some apples and pears which the landlord hadn't um, I don't know if he's been picking the apples or not but we found a load of them on the floor so we washed them and then we made an apple apple crumble and served it with vegan condensed milk and it was absolutely delicious then here this was a very very naughty day I was doing um, I'm doing a collab with a group of ladies in Kenya from k and channel sent us loads of American snacks as you can see and we had loads and loads of um, naughty snacks these days but them them Twix popcorn oh my gosh they're amazing I've never seen them in England before and um, yeah so I hope you liked this video. You liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video next Friday my other videos get uploaded on 
Sunday and Wednesday but they're not food related usually so I'll upload another food haul next Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!